2008, the, the orange turtle truck is retired, leaving the original red as one soul as the one soul for the team <clears throat> race source taking over the truck running it on the former blacksmith chassis <clears throat> Aaron Basil and Ryan Huffaker drafted in to share driving duties touring with team owner Pablo Huffaker and his grave digger despite not being invited to world finals <clears throat> nine hold on Oh wait, never mind, forgive me for that. The truck makes an appearance during halftime encore between the first and second rounds of racing with Randy Brown driving it. Would make an appearance once again in the encore show at the end. <clears throat> in 2009, Aaron and Ryan continue to drive the turtle throughout the season. The truck is invited to compete in Monster Jam World Finals 10. This time with Pop Blohafaker stepping in as the driver 2010 <clears throat> the turtle still continues to campaign on by race source with Aaron and Ryan as Pablo once again drives it again drives it in World Point 11 for that year's European tour John C. Sock and Charles Benz run the body on the Batman chassis alright in 2011 Aaron and Ryan moved to El Toro Loco and Joey Parnell becomes the, dr the new sole driver for the season. The truck would make its final competitive World Finals appearance at World Finals 12 with Pablo Huffaker behind the wheel for a third time. <clears throat> Joey remains the driver for the truck's final season in 2012. Parnell and the truck would be invited to compete in the first annual Young Gun Shootout at World Finals 13 which would also be the final event for the truck. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is retired, then retired after a nine year run. One, one of the largest tennis, <clears throat> largest largest tire tennis for a sponsorship excuse excuse me if I cannot read it there's the world finals appearances 
<clears throat> and Joey moves to Superman the following year. The design for the Hot Wheels diecast were almost completely different from the actual truck. The diecast itself looked much closer to the actual cartoon characters and has no realistic windshield. It also featured the TMNT logo on <clears throat> the, the sides and the hood, a, a different shell pattern, and a darker green color.